top 10 biggest cities in the world. In the world, there are more than 7 billion people, and most of them live in big cities just like you. And since you're part of this great number, discover if your city is in this incredible top. Are you ready? Number 10. Sao Paulo This Brazilian city has more than 21,100,000 inhabitants. It was founded in 1554 by Jesus and nowadays is considered as the most multi-ethnic city in Brazil. Between 1878 and 2010, it received more than 2.3 million immigrants. A lot of them were from Italy, the reason why 60% of people from Sao Paulo has a close or distant family from this country. This explains why it has more than 6,000 pizzerias that produce a million pizzas daily. Since 1930, the foreign migration rate went down, but the number of migrants from North Brazil increased, which increased the number of Afro-descendants. Today, Sao Paulo is one of the 10 cities with the highest gross domestic product and hopes to be the sixth one for 2025. Here you can find the Brazilian Stock Exchange, the famous B3, and 63% of every transnational company established in the country. This explains why the city represents 10.7% of the Brazilian GDP. Number 9. Beijing Beijing has more than 21,250,000 inhabitants. Its history comes from years ago, when it was named the Chinese capital during the Kublai Khan Kingdom, who was from Mongolia and decided to locate near that country. Also, Beijing was surrounded by big mountains, which made its defense easy. Its importance brought new residents, and between the 15th and 19th centuries, it was the biggest city in the world. In 2015, the city was the 52nd headquarters for the 500 most important companies in the world. Inside it, there are a lot of economic zones, like Zongguancan, known as the Chinese Silicon Valley because startups are developed there, the Beijing Financial Street, and the Beijing Central Business District, where the principal foreign companies that invest in China are found. This city is also characterized by its steel industries and mechanic, electric, and pharmaceutic developments. However, a lot of industries have brought consequences such as enormous pollution, which obligates the people to use wind filters inside their houses and to use face masks on days that the government declares red alert because of the pollution. Number 8. New York New York City has more than 21,575,000 inhabitants. It was founded as a Dutch colony in 1624 and had the name of New Amsterdam, but after the English conquered them, they changed its name to New York. The city was the United States capital until 1790. During the 19th and 20th centuries, it received a lot of African migrants that left the southern places. Also, it was a free door for all the European immigrants. Just between 1895 and 1924, 12 million Europeans arrived to Ellis Island and were inspected by the migration authorities. Around 1900, most of the migrants were German, Irish, Jews, and Italians, and in 1940, 94% of New Yorkers were white, a situation that changed when Asians and Hispanics arrived. Actually, there's just 44% of white people, 25% African Americans, 28% Latinos, and 12% Asians. The Statue of Liberty's city is divided into boroughs, Brooklyn, Manhattan, the Bronx, Staten Island, and Queens, this last one being the most ethnically diverse city in the world. Manhattan is the county with the most density of the USA, with 72,918 inhabitants per square mile. Properties reach exorbitant prices. The Time Warner Center is the most expensive property in the city, costing $1.1 billion, while 450 Park Avenue was sold for $510 million, which means $1,587 per square foot. New York itself contributes 8.2 of the American GDP and houses 44 of the 500 biggest companies in the world, the reason why this city has at least 500 million square feet in offices. This city also has the highest billionaire rate and also has the most important stock exchange, Wall Street and the Nasdaq. Number 7. Mumbai this city has more than 23,265,000 inhabitants. Mumbai was a series of islands inhabited by fishers who went from hand to hand as the Indian political landscape changed. 
In 1661, the English controlled the city, and in the 19th century, they built roads that connected the islands with ground, converting Mumbai into a peninsula. Nowadays, 200 tongues are spoken on the street of this city. The main languages are Marathi, spoken by 42% of the population, and Gujarati, with 19% of native speakers. Both are Indian languages. The arrivals of the migrants made this city reach a density of 53,000 inhabitants per square mile, and the Davari neighborhood hosts between 800,000 and a million people in a 0.92 square mile area. 50 years ago, the city's economy was based on the dock. Today, Mumbai makes 70% of India's commerce. It creates 38% of the gross domestic product in the country and has five of the 500 most important companies in the world. It's the headquarters for software companies' operations. It's also worth mentioning one of the biggest film industries, Bollywood. Number 6. Shanghai Shanghai has more than 24,251,000 inhabitants and a destiny of 20,000 people per square mile. It's the biggest Chinese urban area, but, curiously, most of the people don't speak Mandarin, but Shanghainese. Its name means upon the sea, which is logical because it's placed in the Yangtze River's delta. After the first opium war, the British forced the Chinese government to open Shanghai to international commerce. Since then, it experienced a good development in its economy until Mao Zedong came to power in 1949. However, in the 90s, after a lot of economy reforms, the dock flourished again, attracting a lot of migrants. Since 2005, this dock has had the highest container traffic worldwide, and in 2010, 29.05 million containers were registered. You just need to look at the skyscrapers to realize the economical power from this city. In 2013, the Chinese government created the Shanghai Free Trade Zone, where there's no obstacle for foreign inversion, unlike the rest of China, and to which the merchandise can enter without tariffs. Number 5. Seoul The South Korean capital has more than 24,210 inhabitants. It's one of the richest cities in the planet. It has a gross domestic product of $773.9 million, one place behind Tokyo, New York, and Los Angeles. According to the United Nations, the average life quality is superior to any big city like London and Melbourne. This city was the capital of the Korean Kingdom. After the wars that broke the country in the 50s, it received a lot of refugees. That's why its population surpassed 20 million people. Actually, it generates 23% of the country's GDP and houses a fourth of the South Korean population. It hosts 15 of the 500 biggest companies in the world, such as Samsung, LG, Kia Motors, and Hyundai. Between the main places you can visit, there's the Gainbok Gang and the Gangnam neighborhood, famous for its nightlife, which inspired the song Gangnam Style. Number 4. Manila Manila is a city with more than 24,210 inhabitants and a density of 53,000 people per square mile. It was an important open commerce dock until 1571, the year the Spanish took this city and forced it to only trade with Spain. Since then, it's the main Philippines Catholic Center and has the most Spanish speakers in the country. In 1898, the United States took control of it, and after the Second World War, it was rebuilt according to the American model, with plain streets and skyscrapers similar to New York. It has big buildings such as Ortigas Center and Makatai Central Business District, the most important financial zones in the city. People speak Philippine on the streets, which is the main tongue in the country, although there are people who speak Spanish, but less than before. However, the Spanish heritage persists in its religion, because 93% of the population are Catholic. Number 3. Delhi Delhi has more than 27,650,000 inhabitants and a density of 28,000 people per square mile. Most of the population speaks Hindi, but also speak English. This is because of the new government's educational policy. Delhi was formed by the Mongol Emperor Shah Jahan, the same one who built the Taj Mahal, who converted this in its empire's main city. In 1857, the British took the Mongols' territories and conquered Delhi. 
1911, a British capital was built near the old Delhi, and they called it New Delhi. How creative! Soon, both cities grew so big that it was decided that both of these towns would be fused into one big city, which nowadays hosts numerous industries and companies that took advantage of the workforce's qualification and the English skills they had because of the government's educational programs. This attracted millions of migrants that were housed in slums, neighborhoods without basic services, and 22% of the population poop outside. Number 2. Jakarta This city has more than 32,275,000 inhabitants and has a density of 37,000 people per square mile. This city was Indonesia's capital and was the most important of that country. In 1919, it was conquered by the Dutch, who baptized it as Batavia and converted it in its colony's capital, Dutch East Indies. Since its independence, Jakarta is the country's economic city. This motivated a lot of people to migrate to the city, which grew so fast it gave the government no time to give basic services to everyone. A third of the population live in poor conditions. Every day, the center of the city is filled with workers that arrive from their houses. This generates traffic congestion in a lot of avenues. The government has decided to control the traffic prohibiting the free travel of cars with less than three passengers, building elevated avenues, and creating a well-known system called Transjakarta, which includes buses that travel in exclusive lanes and is the best option to travel around the city when you don't have your own vehicle. Another disadvantage is that floods are common in Jakarta, being able to cover 60% of the city in rainy seasons. Number 1. Tokyo Tokyo's urban area has more than 38 million inhabitants and a density of 16,000 inhabitants per square mile. Its metropolitan area extends by 5.4 square miles. It was founded in the 15th century under the name Edo, and in 1868 it was converted to the capital of the country when the emperor left his reticence in Kyoto and established to the city. After this, it was called Tokyo. Japan's growing economy made this city the house of numerous industries, and the population grew fast. In 2011, Tokyo was the host of 51 of the 500 most important companies in the world, such as Sony or Mitsubishi, and is the principal Asian's financial center. Ginza Street and Shibuya neighborhood have stores with big publicity screens that show the goods Tokyo can offer, which has also been named as one of the most expensive cities, which in fact delays its development as a city. However, not everything is good. The quantity of people working every day causes big traffic congestions all around the city. Some Tokyotas spend four hours daily in trains. These were the biggest cities in the world. I hope you live in one of them. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any videos. See you next time.